Hello, 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 hello. Dorothy here with Done by Dorothy. And I know it's been a while since we've seen each other. Um, you know, I want to thank everybody for their patience. This year has been, it's just been a year. Um, we have dealt with a lot within our family, immediate and extended family. Um, you know, with everything going on in the world, we've had a lot of death and illness and hospitalizations and all of that. So it has been an extremely long year, um, as well as dealing with being diagnosed with a chronic illness and dealing with all the craziness of that. So it has just been a long year. <laughs> so thank you for your patience. Um, we were working with our purple paper, purple paper passion kit and we're going to continue with that um i will be updating things you know in the next several weeks so stay tuned again there's my local train always always right on time um so yeah stay tuned uh for you know further information things of some things that were planned have got moved around scheduling wise um there just wasn't an alternative um you know so that's the way that it is um so we're going to go ahead and continue working with this um if you're in my facebook group please stay posted in my facebook group because there'll be announcements and things going on there um as well as updates and all of that so we're going to continue and we're going to put some of our pockets in if i can get my glue work in here. It doesn't want to work. There it went. Okay. It just had seized up on me here. So we're going to glue our pocket in. And again, thank you guys for your patience. I appreciate it. I've missed you all. And, you know, those who have stayed in touch or been in contact, you know, thank you. Appreciate it very much. Um, Mom is doing well, um, you know, as well as could be expected. And so the family's all doing well. So we were glad to get past those crazy days that, you know, a lot of touch and go and things like that. So. Yes, we are just glad to be back recording. Um, we'll be finishing this up. We will be starting a new series soon. Um, and it's a little bit different. So we will deal with that when we get there. I'm ripping um, my cheesecloth. Normally I cut it, but I actually want that sort of stringiness that I get by ripping it by hand. So be patient really fast why there it went and i need a couple pieces because i have two of these little pockets and i sort of want to do them both the same and slowly <laughs> i will tell you because i've had a ton of emails and things like that please be patient with me i am trying to get there and answer all of them back um so if you haven't heard from me Please stay patient. In the next couple weeks, I will be getting back and answering all the emails and whatnot and all that. It has just been crazy. And, you know, when the doctor pretty much has you basically on a, not on bed rest, but I can only do things for a certain amount of time. And it was just you know, had some lifestyle changes we had to make as far as, you know, what we can do and what we're not allowed to do now. So, dealing with that. So, I hope everyone has been doing fine, though. But, yeah, so... We are okay now and hoping that we'll get everything back to going here because 
The doctor had a slower roll for a while. Hope you guys have been staying busy and crafty. Okay, and then I had some of these really little pretty purple flowers, and I thought we'd put a couple <clears throat> a couple of those along the side and maybe there's about three different color flowers, I think. There's sort of a washed out purple, a light purple, and then a bright purple. So if I can get this out of there, let me go ahead and pull another set out too. So you can just do the other little one the same way because these are these little flowers. Let's see. There's a little bright one, and there's a bright one, and I need a... There we go. Love these little purple flowers. They're so cute. And they're they're not thick. They have that little pearl in the middle. So there's just enough that you can use them to decorate, but they don't really balk up. Let's see. I'm going to put this one in the middle. I'm just putting them along the side over here, sort of toward the inside of the journal, and the other ones I'll put to the outside to sort of balance the balk. So in the comments, let me know what have you been creating? Lots of finished projects should be out there. Of course, it's the holidays, so things are starting to pick up. Yeah, that's just there's not a lot there but it's just enough that it adds a little a little something and the other ones I think we'll do down the middle on the other page let's see that's a little envelope I'm through just seeing what all we need because I know there's a lot of the envelopes and stuff that we needed to glue there's another one back here somewhere yep there it is there's my little piece of cheesecloth my little piece of cheesecloth I love cheesecloth. It just adds so much to a page. Actually, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. My voice is shot, and you wouldn't think it would be shot already, but it's just not been holding up on its own very well. Okay. I'm going to let that hang off the edge because I think it just adds a little something to the side. Let's add some glue to our bag here. And I'm using Fabri-Tac. You guys know me and my Fabri-Tac. Love my Fabri-Tac. And I could have left this open on the back, um, but with these little snack baggy deli wrapper type style bags, the little glassini style bags, um, I like putting enough support behind them because they are very sort of fragile. Uh, and one thing, you guys may see more videos from me during the week um, because one of the things that I have to do is I can't do extended videos um, as far as like time-wise extended videos. Um, for a while, I'm supposed to build up my, I guess my video stamina. <laughs> I don't know what other word to use um, until I get things going. So bear with me there. Um, I won't be doing any live auctions or anything like that because, you know, you guys know those are extensively long. So I will be doing some de-stash, but it will be probably within folders on my Facebook group. So if you're in my Facebook group, say, you know, check in there and you'll probably see that because I do have a ton of stuff I need to de-stash and uh, well, I wasn't allowed to record I could do things within my room as far as I didn't do any creating because I couldn't sit down for extended periods of time but I could you know stand up and clean and sort and so I have a ton of stuff that has got to go so then we're still in the process of trying to get moved and all of that it just 
you know how that is crazy times and i have this and i have these little really really cute lavender sprigs i guess is the word and i thought i'd put one of those on there it's really cute but i wanted to find something that i could use sort of to glue over top of it to give it more support. So I think I'm gonna use maybe this little cream one here. I know this is pretty cute and it would look cute coming out of there. The butterfly is not with the butterfly. And I'm actually ripping this because I want that torn edge look to it. handy dandy toothbrush that I was using. I'm going to grab this purple that I have and I'm just going to put literally, let me shake this up a little bit. I'm going to put just literally a dot. That's it. And let me see. I'm going to use the edge of this scrap paper over here just to And all I'm doing is I just took the edge of the paper and I'm sort of pulling it along just to get it on all the little tips of my brush right like that. So I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there you can see just a little bit. And then I'm just going to use it to brush. But by doing that, I'm not going to take away from like that ripped edge. It's actually going to like intensify some of the fibers. You can actually, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, you can see the little stringy fibers actually sticking up through there. Okay, so I'm going to set this over here and let it dry. And I'm just going to set my brush over here because I might use it in a minute. So this sprig is going to go up here. I'll probably put it about right here. And then I'll glue the paper over it. But I want to sort of smash this on the back but not the front. So let's, let me use my bottle here. I want it not so 3D, if that makes sense. I want it to stick up, but not be, there we go. And that'll sort of flatten the back, make it flatter so it will stick better. I am gonna, one thing I like about the watercolor paint is it does dry sort of fast. So I'm going to put a stream of glue right there. Go ahead and glue my little lavender sprig in there. That way. Then let me grab a little of my cheesecloth. Just a teeny tiny corner. You find over here where I ripped earlier. There we go. And let's see, let's put some glue down here at the bottom here for the bottom. And I'll go ahead and put some glue for catching my cheesecloth too, because that'll help tie that in there. Lightly dab, lightly dab. Let me see how this is drying. Most of this should be dry. Um, let me grab the back of a piece of paper and just rub it along the edge and that'll sort of get any of the part that's not dry. So see by doing that I'm just sort of rubbing it along the edge so anything that's wet will smear onto the and there's just a little bit there it seems like that one corner and you can sort of until he, nothing's coming off it's pretty well dry. Okay. And I'm 
I'm just going to put this here. A little bit of cheesecloth stuck out the side. And I have this. And I, so it'll sort of stick up there. I'm actually going to, because this paint, I can roll some of this glue off. Now that I've held it in place, which will sort of let my little sprig fold it sort of towards the side. There we go. And so that'll sort of stick off like that. Let's so have our pieces of paper in there. See what else we have here. Here we have this. I didn't want to put something sort of behind this um, because it's so bright. I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece. Oh no, that's a white piece. Let me see what can we find over here. Something sort of in a brighter purple like that, where it sort of stands out. Uh, let me see if I have something a little lighter. Um, Oh no, we have this. I don't really want to put a deck. That would work. So that's sort of purple with a background. So again, I'm going to rip the edges and I'm just going to go around, rip a tad bit around the side. Dab some glue on here. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I got some purple. Yeah, I got some purple off on there. Let's just sort of darken the edge here. See, so if you take this and scratch it on paper, you get a lot of that purple off, then you can really use it to sort of just age up. Almost like if, um, if you were over in school and you were creating like an old document, like we did like... Um, the Declaration of Independence and things like that. And we did it like almost on, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Almost on parchment paper, like on parchment paper. And then we burnt the outside edges to make it, you know, have the old look. This sort of gives this sort of an old look with color though. So it sort of has like that burned edge effect. And it'll last for a while if, it, oh no, I don't know about a lot of other paints. I do it with my watercolor paints. And I'll tell you, I'll show you. This is my lid. It is folk art, uh, watercolor acrylic paint. This one's the purple. So you can create beautiful watercolor effects, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm gonna put this sort of up towards the top because obviously I wanna, don't wanna waste it all down below the pocket. My lid sticking to my fingers. So we'll get the pockets and all this done in today. Um, tomorrow we will go with the binding, the sewing binding part, and then we'll start um, then we'll start constructing the front, and then we'll go back through and add all of our whatnots without, you know, throughout. And I see, I just wanted this edge through there. This is going to go out to the very edge, down to the very corner. Okay. So that in there, of course, we still have our lace. Um, to do and to put along the edge. I may not put, I don't know. We'll see. So have that and of course we still have our front part and all our little glue things to add to it. It's like this is going to get glued here. And I want something on there. So we'll work with that tomorrow. I'll probably put some of these little stamps on here because I really like these stamps. I'll get my scissors. Oh no, I don't know. Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We have so much decorating to do where I could do some of these. 
with maybe like a little lilac spray across the front would look really cute. So lots and lots and lots to go on. And I have these little two, these little lilac-y and darker, almost bluish purple flowers too. So those would look really cute on there. Okay, we will be back and we will finish this up. Like I said, probably this week um, we will be finished, but we got all our pockets in now. So I'm going to let them dry and we will be back with, let's see, we did one, two, see like this, the way it's painted up, I don't want to add anything to it. Um, I may just glue a piece of lace along the edge because I don't want to add a lot to it. And we have our pockets all done in there um, and glued in there. Of course, we've got our little belly band decorated. And see, these are decorated so much themselves. So it really doesn't need a lot. Okay, so, and I love this has really got the paint on the file folder finished out. It's very, it's almost leathery feeling. So it makes it really nice. So. Okay, we will see you again tomorrow when we go ahead and we bind and start working on all the elements to get it finished up. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Again, thanks for your patience with us um, here as we've been going through all the chaos of late. Um, have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye now.